Yo, what's going on, guys? And today we're hearing the Raptors are interested in Sergio. Someone tell me down below how to say it correctly. My father's from Italy, Pescara. And, you know, I'm Argentine. My family's also from Argentina and Yugoslavia. Puedo hablar español. Sergio Scar Iolo. Sergio Scar Iolo. The Raptors are interested in the current Bologna coach and Spanish national team coach, or used to be as their head coach for next season, which will make him the second European in history to be head coach of an NBA bench, Marco reports. The Italian coach met on Thursday at the Majestic Majestic Hotel in Bologna with the permission of his club, with the heads of the Canadian franchise, Pre President Masai Ujiri, and general manager Bobby Wester, who consider him one of the primary candidates for the position. They know him well. He served as Nick Nurse's assistant trainer from 2018 to 21. Now, when you look at this, the Raptors are showing the interest in Sergio because he seems like he'd be a really good guy. To, I mean, he's one of the winningest coaches of all time. And firstly, he has a wealth of experience both as a head coach and an assistant coach. He's coached in basically every league, the Spanish league, the Italian league, the Euro, Euro league, the Russian league. And he served as, you know, assistant coach as well as I believe head coach of the national team winning gold, multiple gold medals in international tournaments. Secondly, Sergio is known as like a strategic tac tactical like genius as his ability to adapt his coaching style to fit the strengths of his player. He has a reputation of being a master of X and O's for being able to make in-game adjustments that can swing the momentum of the game in his team favors. Sergio has a strong track record of developing young players. He's been patient and supportive who helps players reach their potential and you know, OG Ananobi, Pascal Siaka, Malachi Flynn, Scotty Barnes, Precious Achua, all could benefit from Sergio's guidance and expertise. And Sergio's experience working with NBA players, like I said, he was with the Raptors. This means he is already familiar with the team's players, coaching staff, and management. And he had a working relationship with Nick Nurse. Sergio is also known for his positive attitude and his ability to build strong relationships with players. He has a reputation for being a great communicator who can motivate his players and create a positive team culture. And this is important for the Raptors who have a history of building strong team culture and prioritizing the well-being of their players. So in conclusion, Sergio would be an excellent head coach for the Raptors. His experience, strategic acumen, ability to develop young players and positive attitude will make him a valuable asset for this team. And his previous experience with the Raptors means he's already familiar with the organization and his players. If the Raptors are able to bring him on board, they'd be getting one of the best head coaches in the world. Seriously. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What would you guys want to see and why? And yeah, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day, guys. Poopies out. Seriously. I still can't believe that. That's wild. Wild news that this might happen. I'm stoked. So hope you guys are just as stoked as I am because definitely an interesting one and I, I don't expect everybody in the world to to know who Sergio is I know it's a bit niche but I am excited to hear your guys' opinions on everything and yeah that's gonna be the video for today I hope you guys did enjoy like comment subscribe do all that good jazz and if there was anything else you guys would have liked to have heard let me know because I'm always down to hear your guys' opinions I'm very interested seriously to hear them because you know what you guys are the reason why i make these videos and why i enjoy doing it so let me know okay if there was anything else i should have talked about i don't want to mess up or do anything wrong so peace out everybody